Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. My name's Heather Salter Purvis. I am a queer fantasy author, and today I thought I would take you through other part of being a writer is reading. So these are the top 10 books I really want to get to in 2024. They are all physical books off my shelves that have been calling for to me from a range of topics. Uh, so we've got some horror, dark fantasy stuff that then goes into myth mythology and retellings and historical. So let's dive on in to the top 10. So we'll start with the sort of spooky fantasy-ish. We'll start with the horror scary bits and bobs and we'll work all our way through to a historical retelling. Uh, so this is Christina's Near the Bone. We follow Matty and her husband William as they live on a, a mountain together and she, Matty never wants to make William upset. One day she finds a mutilated body of a fox in the woods and she realises they're not alone after all. Uh, there's something in the woods that there hasn't been before uh, and it makes strange eerie sounds at night and something with sharp teeth and fangs. There are three strangers that appear on the mountain looking for the creature. Uh, and Matty is aware that them being there is going to make William angry and terrible things happen when William gets angry. So I have read Christina Henry before and really enjoyed her so I thought I would give a spooky eerie horror book a go. I then have Merit Grants Into the Drowning Deep. This is a pen name of Sean Maguire uh, and I loved Sean Maguire's Way with Children series and middle game so I love her writing so I thought I'd try a different um, approach so Mira Grants Into the Drowning Deep is about uh, seven years ago there was a voyage into the Mariana Trench, Trench to film a mockumentary bringing to light the ancient sea creatures of legend but it was lost at sea and all the people on it and some have called it a tragedy and others have called it a hoax and now there's a new crew assembling to investigate what really happened and one of the people on the new voyage is the sister of someone who went missing on the first ex uh, voyage we then have a dark academia sack telling uh, in Victoria Lee's uh, lessons and Vengeance. So we follow Felicity who used to be at the Delaware School uh, which is a centuries old campus covered in ivory uh, and then it was her home until the tragic death of her girlfriend and in her old room in the dormitories it's room to be haunted by the spirits of five students that were involved in witchcraft and there's a new student who uh, appears and she's a prod prodigy novelist. And then the, another Dark Academia is A Lesson in Drowning by Ava Reed. I have read Jupiter and Thorn by this author and really enjoyed it. This one we're following two architecture students who had been tasked with restoring a manor. Uh, one of our characters, uh, Effie, uh, believes in fairy tales and has had no choice since childhood. She's been haunted by visions of the fairy king in the solace of uh, the beloved mortal girl. Uh, she's got a tattered copy of a book and then her academic rival. They have to restore the crumbling manner of the author but the other student believes the author is a hoax. Uh, so that seems quite interesting. Uh, then moving on to some fantasy. I have a queer Latinx transgender novel. Cemetery Boys by Adrian Thomas where we follow Uriel who summons the ghost and now he can't get rid of it. Uh, Uriel wants to prove that he's a real bojo to his family by summoning his ghost cousins his cousin's ghost but he accidentally summons the high school uh, bad boy instead and it complicates things because Julian being the bully does not want to go into death quietly a second time really interesting and then I have the beginning of a fantasy trilogy uh the bone shard daughter by Adrian Stewart uh this follows it's the first book in the Drowning Empire series uh, and we're following uh, Lin as uh, she's the Emperor's daughter but she has lost her status as heir to the Empire. Uh, she's trapped in the palace behind locked doors and old secrets and she vows to reclaim her birthright by mastering the forbidden art and bone shard magic uh, but wielding her, the magic comes at a great cost. 
she needs to understand that. So it's the first book in a fantasy trilogy. I then have Mexican Gothic by Selena Moreno Garcia. Sorry, uh, this is a about a socialite who gets a frantic letter from her newlywed cousin begging to be rescued from a mysterious doom of her new home. So she goes down to the her cousin's new home and spooky icky things are uh, pursue and this one the Goodreads Choice a couple of years ago beating out Stephen King so I'm really looking forward to getting into some more spooky icky um, stuff. I know that there's some stuff about mushrooms being in the walls or something so I'm really intrigued by this. Uh, I then have a dark moody atmospheric reimagining of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, it's the first book in a duology and that is Bright Smoke Cold Fire by Rosemond Hodge. Uh, so this follows when the crooning creeps into the world. Uh, it's, there's only one safe place in the walled city and that remains untouched. And then we have the opposing families warring over it. So I would love to see how that plays out and if I like it I'll pick up the second book in the duology. Uh, I then have Ariadne by Jennifer Stewart uh, which is the retelling of Princesses of Crete and the Daughters of the Fearsome uh, Minos. So it's the Minotaur um, and Thanos, not Theseus even, Theseus, um, coming to kill the Minotaur. Ariadne has heard too many tales of women being punished for the actions of men and she's determined to state her own fate but will her decisions to help Theseus ensure her happy ever or will she find herself sacrificed to her lover's ambition? So it's quite interesting. And finally we have Lady Macbethed. Uh, this is, um, which is by, sorry, Isabel Shirler. Uh, and this is she will be a king a uh, queen whatever it takes so we follow Garach um, and she will be the queen of Alba one day uh, but she's caught up in a court drama and things in fell from there we also just love this sort of basic cover with like the crown the dagger and red just a plain back a red cover um, this is a reimagining or retelling of Lady Macbeth from Shakespeare's Macbeth. So I'm really interested and in getting to these 10 physical books off my shelves as I need to start prioritising physical books. So I would love to know what some of the top books that you need to read physically in 2024 are. Please let me know down in the comments. Um, and if you want to do any buddy reads with any of these, let me know. And until next time, let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world. Thank you and bye-bye for now. <laughs>